Hey, this is Lawrence with Goodnight Games, and in this tutorial, I'll teach you guys how to make weather. So we can spawn in the file that I'm giving you, you can spawn rain, ash, or snow. Now let's check it out. So if I spawn rain, you'll see it'll come down, and the way I've coded it is that it'll come down isometrically. So if you have something 2.5D, or if you're doing top-down or something like that, it'll give it a nice effect because it's landing in different places. So it's not just straight 2D into the screen. And I've provided rain, and then there's ash, which will sway gently back and forth, like so, and then kind of disappear as it comes down. And snow, which will act as if wind is gusting on it and just come down like this. Of course, you can use these for whatever you want, literally anything you want. So, without further ado, let's learn how to make this. So we'll make a new document. And I'll turn this off of play mode real quick so that doesn't bog us down. Make a new document, and we'll go to Scenes. Scene. And then we'll create an actor. And we'll call this actor Weather. So this will be the spawner. We'll drag it onto the scene. And then we'll create one more actor, and we'll call it rain. Okay? We're going to go inside of rain and we're going to say that we want it to be blue. You can make it whatever color you want. We'll go to size and we'll just say 10 by 10 for now. That'll work out fine. Now we need to add a couple things and let's say move because we want it to go straight down. We'll make a move at 270 and we'll say about 150 on the speed. Um, and a nice thing to do with stuff like this is if you do speed, we can randomize it a little bit to make it a little, you know, a little different. Like I could say between 100 and 150, so certain things will, you know, fall at a different rate. If you want, you could also scale the rate by where they appear in the Y, but we'll, that's all, we'll get to that. Um, so it's moving, and as always, we have to kill it, and the easiest way to do that is make a quick destroy rule. So destroy, and we'll say when attribute, rain, position, y is less than or equal to zero, we'll destroy it. So this is our catch-all destroy, and that'll kill it from the bottom of the screen, because you don't want to leave these things, otherwise it'll start bogging down. So that's all we need in here for now. Then we'll go back, go to weather. And the first thing we want to do is go to graphics and turn visible off, because if you're not putting any graphics on it, you don't need it. So what I'll do is I'm just going to do something simple and create a timer. And I'll say every 0.25 seconds will spawn actor rain. Now we want it to scatter across whatever area we're in, so I'll just act like we want the whole screen. So I'll do relative to scene, and we'll put it to start off screen, so I'll go to the Y, and I'll set that to devices, screen, size, height, and let's say plus 25. And then the width, we want random, so it appears all over. So we'll go to the width, I'm going to the expression editor, we'll go random 10 to device, screen, size, width, minus 10. Because you want to give it a little breathing room, you don't really want it off screen because it'll look weird. And then, okay, we'll play it and we'll see what happens. So I'm playing it, and you see, we have rain. It's coming down, it's coming down at different speeds, which is nice, it gives it kind of a zen effect. And this will go, you know, this will cover you in straight 2D games. And you can just leave this on top of things, like layer it on top of things. You could even add a collide on these. So if they hit your platforms, they'll disappear, which will look kind of nice. Um, you can change the size to really whatever you want. But so, let's add a step to this. What if we want to make it isometric? What if we're doing 2.5D? So on and so forth. And for the file that I gave you, if you want to make this straight 2D, you just take the rules out of this, and then you can just use them like that. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go into rain, and we'll keep our destroy rule, we'll keep the move. Now what we want to do is, we want it to pick a random spot on the y-axis, 
and once it gets to there, it dies. So we're going to make a self attribute. So go to the plus self, and we'll say real number random y. Okay. Then at the beginning, right when it spawns, we're going to set its random y. So we're going to change attribute, and we're going to say rain random y is equal to, and this will have to be random. So now here's what's important. You need to figure out, okay, how big is the plane of my game? If it's the whole screen, you can just do, well, let's say random 10 to the max being screen device height minus 10. And then that'll pick out everything. Um, if you don't want it to be there, like maybe it only takes up half, you can do device half height divided by 2. It really just depends. You have to play with your topmost value in order to get it to fit right to your game. But this is the value you play with. You play with the max. So I'll just say full screen. So 10 and minus 10. And we'll let that go. So then we have our change attribute. We'll say pick random y. Now all you have to do is you say if attribute rain position y is equal to or less than, we'll change that in a second, random y. So we'll change that to equal to or less than, just in case it shoots by. All you do is destroy it. So we'll just change that. Now what should happen is if self position y is less than the random y it dies so let's play it and check it out you see now they're dropping just like that so now you have it set up for isometric rain all through a few simple rules and then you can add that to your game in whatever you want so I'm Lawrence from Goodnight Games, and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial.